This morning in the Modern Parent, it's time to learn. Many kids are in the classroom, uh, but before they get there, there's a lot that can be done at home. Heather from the Children's Workshop explains the importance of educating our little ones. Learning really does begin at birth. When an infant is born, the only organ that actually is not fully developed is their brain. So babies are born with hundreds of millions of different neurons and cells that we need to fill uh, with knowledge and information. The first few years are significant. Research shows us that most of a child's development and learning really does happen from birth to about age five. So that's why early childhood professionals, we always refer to the um, early years of a child's life as really the most important years for children to learn. Kids are like sponges, they take it all in. We might not realize it as parents and even as adults and, and sometimes teachers, children are learning language and literacy skills really right from the moment they're born. We're exposing them to all of the language that we use as adults. So we might not think that what we say around babies can impact them, but don't be fooled. They definitely can pick up on our verbal language as well as our body language. Read with your children. We sit with them on our laps. We hold a book in front of them. They're starting to learn to look at a book, turn the pages, and understand that print has meaning even at an early age. Encourage them to use their brain power. As early as infancy, we need to teach our kids how to think, not necessarily what to think, but we want to make sure that they're being exposed to situations where, you know, some higher level thinking is required. Do they realize how to problem solve. If they can't reach a toy, um, are, are they thinking about, well, how can I reach that toy? Can I get closer to that toy? If I can't get closer, maybe I'll cry so that the adult in the room will help me reach that toy. Teach them self-control. It's such an important life skill that we all need in order to succeed. So we have to be able to, you know, expose babies to experiences where um, we're helping them with their, their coping skills and we're, we're there for them and they can rely on us, but also they have to learn some, you know, type of self-control. And we can model that by being good role models for them and encouraging and coaching them during times where they show distress. Be proud of who you are. We have to be confident in the skin that we're in. And as adults and teachers and educators, we really have to ensure that our kids believe in themselves and that they're confident in the skills that um, we've exposed them to. And remember, it all starts at home. As a parent, we are our child's first teacher. We're their number one advocate, but they learn um, first and foremost from us. So I think it's important as a mom, myself, but also as somebody that works with young children here at the Children's Workshop, you have to self-reflect and always remember that you are your child's first teacher and their biggest role model. Heather also suggests limiting electronic time for the little ones and establishing routines in your household. For more from the Children's Workshop, visit our website.